So this is the wood that I'll be using to build the workbench. This is oak wood from those pallets I took apart in my first video, you can see. And some of this 4x4 four four is some red wood from a deck that we took apart. So I'm going to drill a hole through all of these boards and put that all thread through it. I'll cut the all thread down to shorter pieces and put it through each hole and then I'll use a nut to tighten down each side and it'll be nice and solid. So this is a cutting wheel that I'm using on my grinder. Uh, you cut metal with it. I'm using it to cut the rods down. And an important thing is always wear uh, ear and eye protection when you're doing something like this. It's pretty loud and there could be some sharp metal in your eye if you don't wear some eye protection. Cutting metal with the wheel can create a burr like this. So I'm using a grinding wheel. I paid 50 cents for it at a yard sale. But I'm using this grinding wheel to um, get rid of that burr. That way the nut will fit on there easy. Um, and plus you won't cut your finger on it or anything. It'll be nice and smooth. Voila. I'm putting a washer between each board just to make a little bit of space to keep it a little drier. I'm not sure how much it will do. These washers are only about a sixteenth of an inch thick. So this board had such a bow to it that I had to widen that hole or add another hole in there so that the rod would slide through it. That hole you can see it right here. Help made it a little wider. Rod fit through. I'm removing this board here so I can put some recessed holes in there. I'm going to drill a little bit. That way the nut won't sit so proud, uh, you know, where I'm working in front of it. It won't be sticking out too far. So I've cranked them tight and now I'm going to use the planer and just plane this down, make it a little flatter along the top. It's going to be an outdoor workbench, nothing's going to be perfect on it. Uh, I'll do the bottom a little bit as well, but I'm not going to really go crazy on it. It's just going to be a work platform for outside. My friend Adam gave me this Makita planer. Uh, it's from the year 1980, and it's pretty good. It came in handy for a lot of projects we've been working on. But basically, it's two spinning blades, and it will flatten out a piece of wood, whatever you're working on. You use it to help flatten a piece of wood. So it's looking pretty flat. Um, I don't really mind the kind of divots. It's a little bit of a rustic tabletop. Let me flip this over real quick so you can see. It's about a hundred pounds, probably, maybe more. So I use the planer mostly here and on the edge there, along the perimeter, because uh, that's where the frame will sit. And I don't really want to do the middle. I, I did have a couple of lag bolts that I cut off that I don't want to ruin my planer blades with, so. I'm using this board right here as a fence so I can cut a nice straight line off of here and make a nice flat edge. I set my saw to full depth and then uh, I'm going to cut it and use my hacksaw to get the rest of it.
If you need a small sawzall, I can't recommend this one enough. This Milwaukee saw hacksaw is a great little tool. I set my saw to a 30 degree angle and I'm using it to cut these two boards here. And these two boards are going to be kind of like a little back for the workbench so the tools or whatever won't slide off the back of it while I'm working. So I have these in place and then I'm going to tap them with my mallet here in a second and that'll show me where to drill my holes so once I drill a hole I can fit it through the rod. That little planer creates a lot of dust and chips. I'm using my skill saw here to cut through some of the remaining oak that I have. And this is going to be a leg for the table. Those four boards there will be legs for the workbench. You can see here I'm putting together a frame for the lower part of the bench and I'm going to be using this cedar here that we reclaimed from another house. Uh, just some old cedar wall siding. I used my planer yet again to put these little chamfered edges on the corners of each board and you can see what I'm talking about right here. Just did the board up on edge and cut about a 45 degree angle nothing perfect just just a little angle on there see i put these blocks here pointed out on the camera on each corner post um and i measured up from the bottom of this rail right here to get a the same height for all of it and then i'm going to drop this platform down onto that so it'll be all in the same spot I didn't have a drill bit big enough for what I wanted to do here, so I used this old auger and bit and brace, and I just drilled it by hand for each of these holes. And I'll show you here in a second why I'm putting these holes in. I'm not drilling all the way through this rail, just enough. So this recessed hole allows me to use this lag and get some purchase on both the rail and the oak material down below it and you'll see I get a, probably like two, two and a half inches at least on each one so that holds this thing pretty tight and sturdy I use my drill to get it all, most of the way in but then I use the ratchet here just so I don't snap the, the bolt
here. I set up this little jig so I can slide these and this will be a straight line since they're all butting against this piece of wood here. I'm using my Makita belt sander here just to give the top one final smooth. I really like the grain on this front board here. You can see the grain on top, it looks really nice. And then on the front of it, I left the, you can see the saw marks from when this board was milled originally. I just like the way that looked. So I left it out front. Well, I'm so happy that I finally got rid of that pile of lumber that was in the driveway. Um, you can see I got it here. This is some old decking material a deck that we took apart from one job and this stuff here is some cedar from another house that we uh, were able to reclaim some cedar from and this 4x4 material is oak from some pallets that I took apart and you can see that in the first video that I made on YouTube um, but yeah I'm pretty happy with the way it came out it's solid uh, got a little bit of shake just because the ground is so uneven here you can see I have it up on some wood here but yeah I'm happy with the way this came out thanks for watching my video